Today it's time to pack my bags, grab my camera and off to Switzerland we go for another photography POV in a beautiful valley with so many incredible waterfalls, a lovely train track and a beautiful iconic town called Lauterbrunnen. And if you stick around for the end of the video, I'll also show some more photos that I took in the other places that I visited during my time in Switzerland. Welcome to the POV. Today I'm starting out with the 24 to 105. I think this is the most versatile lens I have right now. But we're here in Lauterbrunnen. Let's get started. Let's start with this nice little backdrop. There's loads of waterfalls in this valley. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at this. We've got the cows and the bells and we've got a waterfall and a little church. Can it get any more Swiss? And this, this is lovely. And this is apparently also the valley that Tolkien based Rivendell on. And well, if you walk through this valley, you'll definitely understand why. I want to get a shot, but the bridge is kind of blocking the view. Might as well get the shot though. We, we could just focus on the waterfall for now. Because we got not quite a nice view on that. And we're going to slowly move more into the town and see what we see. There's also a little train going by here, which goes up the mountain. It would be great if we can catch that train and set up a nice frame with that little train going through it. All right, there we go. A little bit more in the center of town. Kind of want to try to get some different angles and different focal lengths of the church. I mean, look at this already like a higher view the church waterfall behind it that's quite nice might even have a little bit of this building as foreground usually when i'm out shooting like this or whenever whenever i'm doing a pov i just try to shoot as much as possible and when you get home sometimes you think you have nothing and then in the edit you think oh it's quite nice glad i took so many shots. I think I have a photo very similar to this from the last time I was here, but it is quite nice. Look at this view. I can't get sick of this. This is amazing. All right, you probably can't hear me, but let's get a picture with this river. It would also be a great spot to catch the train. Oh, there's a little house there. Just like a tiny little house in the middle of the trees. All right, let's look back at this before we get up to the spot everyone's at. It's nice with like the little bit of snowy mountain in the back, even though it disappears in the clouds. And look at this the train. It's not the perfect angle, but this is the train coming from up the mountain into this town. And I think in like five minutes, it goes back. All right, we'll use these leaves us a little bit of foreground again but i'll wait we have a nice little spot here which might be good to catch the train there we go all right well we took as much as we could okay i'm waiting for the train to be between those trees i think we can get another nice shot like there we go Okay, there we go, a couple of like broad ones, maybe a little bit closer and maybe super far so we can see the mountain. Okay, <laughs> we got a couple of different angles. Yeah, so definitely the main thing to shoot here is the waterfall and the little church. But if you look around, there's plenty of other cool buildings and scenery to shoot for sure. I think we might be lucky and the favorite spot is quiet now. So we're going to try go there. I don't think I want a car there. So I'm just going to wait a little bit. And even though person's there as well, might as well do some of the flowers. Mostly because there's people in front of me and behind. I don't think we're going to be as lucky as I hoped. All right, now we have a little bit more time and space ok 
can get some different angles. It would be great if we had a leading line to it, but it just doesn't quite. Well, the path kind of works. All right, I think I did a shot with a phone last time. So this is one of the one of the photos that I took before when I was here last time. I've been trying to do a couple of those shots that I know that I got last time. So I can do like swipe to change the season or before and after, you know, it's, it's like three years apart. It's pretty cool, I think. Okay, this is a pretty cool building with like the grass on top. So I'm gonna try to shoot it without the busy street, which I don't wanna see. But I think this is quite nice. I like, I like the grass on the roof. And that was the end of the POV, but as promised, I've got some more photos to show you that I took on the other days of my Switzerland trip. Um, and if you don't want to miss out on any of the new photos that I take, please also follow me on Instagram because I post there a lot, especially when I'm traveling. And there will be much more content to come from Switzerland, also here on this YouTube channel. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you around.